Ladies and gentlemen, hello and welcome to Planet Has episode 16 admission from the preview last time. Uh, Hachi gets seriously injured on the job, I assume. Um, and it's sort of the aftermath of that. That's what it showed, or I assume. Imagine if, uh, I mean, the previews are known to bait, though. <laughs> Imagine if it like he gets hurt, but then he just gets better right away. There's like actually this is a this is a lavy backstory episode or something crazy like that. Probably not though. <laughs> um last episode was really good. It was the Hachi and Tanabe date episode. <laughs> Excuse me. With um with the the criminal thing catching the criminals and they just happen to bump into them classic but yeah should be exciting today we are trying the tea of the bot each bot comes with two packs of tea um i believe it's a sensha tea it's always a sensha tea you know i wish they kind of like went crazy with it sometimes do some weird david's tea shit just have a unique blend but i just since it's a traditional uh japanese snack bot it would be sensha but yeah i mean i can't really tip it tip it you can kind of see it. It's like yellowy. <laughs> cool glass, by the way. Honestly, I, I didn't. I forgot I had this. My dad must have given it to me a while ago. But I'll probably use it to drink tea because it looks cool. <laughs> um, but anyways, let's uh, look up the deets for this tea. This is aged sencha. Aged sencha is made by slowly maturing carefully selected tea leaves at low temperatures. As the tea leaves age, the sharp bitterness fades into a refined, mellow taste. It is said that the Shodan Tokugawa Yasu was a great admirer of age sensha. There you go. It, it is one of the first teas that says it can't be drinking cold. Usually they say it can be served hot or cold, but I guess this is pure hotness. Yeah, tastes like sencha. I, I, maybe my tea, uh, my tea tongue isn't uh, great enough to taste the, a huge amount of difference between senchas. Um, it does taste a little lighter though. I guess that that's what they meant by mellow. It's mellow yellow. <laughs> Anyways, I think we should start off. And then episode 16, we're back to the standard time of 25 minutes and one second. And at the end of the episode, we'll talk about it a bit. But yeah, let's start in three, two, one. Oh, I didn't change the auto. Oh, it's not even the. Oh, change it fast, it's real. Oh my god, I accidentally turned audio commentary on. You fuckers. <laughs> Good thing they didn't say anything, yes. I just hear audio commentary. I'm like, oh no. Oh, he got disconnected. That's gravity shit. It's George Clooney. Save my boy, George. I mean, that would be horrifying. into the void. Well, that's one way to start. Pretty intense. Too bad the first, like, five seconds or ten seconds I was listening to Japanese commentary without, uh, subtitles. Besides the fact that they said audio commentary. I'm, I wonder if I'll flash back or will flash forward. Do I have to say monkey me? <laughs> Knew it was coming. Ba 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 da 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 ba 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 ba. Ba 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 
ba ba ba ba ba ba da 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 I wonder if he gets like a phobia of space or something. It's not just a physical injury. No nose in this. I remember from the preview. <laughs> Base sixteen. Okay, yeah, I did flash forward. That's what I thought might happen. Well, at least he's saved. Oh, it explains it a bit. Oh no. Might not have. It's not a great sentence. <laughs> but we know that's not true. So it's gonna be a mental thing. I think. <laughs> Jesus, always lucky, I guess. Excuse me? Where's your shame of the blame? Ah. All right. Yeah, they've been popping off. Ooh. What the heck? They're shafting Dolph? Even though he's popping off? <laughs> it's gonna be like the yips, man. I feel it. Based? Oh. Uh, unless. Don't they have this stuff in real life? Sensory deprivation chambers? I swear some people just do this as like a, a thing. Like to meditate or something. <laughs> Probably not high touch, but like a simpler version. Test if he's scared of being it. It just simulates empty void space stuff. Fifteen minutes. Uh oh. The yips. Kinda. Kinda like PTSD, I guess, too. SLD. How do you treat it? Psychiatrist?
<laughs> I mean, we got proof on camera, dude. Protect yourself from this. <laughs> yeah, that's what I thought she was doing. <laughs> What is that? Five hour energy based? I've actually never had a five hour energy. Apparently, it tastes nasty, but it works. I mean, that shit would fuck you up. I wouldn't blame him. What the fuck? What if he like, what if he just repasses it though? And that's better. Can he just dead his license back? Do you mean someone turn on the static? It's cheating. Jesus. Unlucky. Yo, they're talking. Thought this might happen. But they're just talking about Hoshino, no, never mind. It made sense. What the heck? You can overcome it, maybe. I guess if you compare it to PTSD, PTSD is pretty hard to overcome. No. Oh, I thought he was entertaining uh, Hoshino, but he was trying to that. He was entertaining the other sections to uh, help Hoshino, or reschedule for some Hoshino time. See, it's serious because I'm calling him Hoshino instead of Hachi. It's when you know shit's going down. Ooh. Yoint? The boys? He needs a kiss from Tanabe. Hi, bitch Setsu. What a name. <laughs> Who that? Oh, Gigalt, probably. What? Secret Tech? Maybe the power no no will save him. It's fucked up, man. Yo, the ninjas based. Not jobless. Oh. No, that's gonna be the end game. Then to Von Braun. He needs to he needs to make it. Oh no. Already? He needs motivation. He's already looks defeated. No, no. Or Nona. What's her name? Isn't it Nona? Ah, it is Nona. Okay. Got the Hachi Mati on. Let's go. Copium. 
I believe. Just into rainbows. And I drown. Actually, I just sit. I don't know. Oh, water. Wait, that's what I was saying. Is this the strat? I don't know if this is good, though. Imagine you're on land right now in space. It might be, like, dangerous for the mental. Tiny Hachimaki. Oh. Evil projection. Satoko! Or is this like his dad talking? Even though it's not his dad, maybe. I don't know. Oh, no, not the total. Roland. Oh no. It's Hachi, not as bad. I mean, that made so much more sense. Evil Hachi laugh. Fuck him up! Oof. Oh shit. Oh god. Yeah, that. I don't think that's a pass. That was pretty intense, man. What's the Diddle plan? Twenty 
20 minutes? That's kind of sick, I thought. Oof, oof. You did not want to hear that from her. Out of that, the words of confidence. There she meant, Val. Oh, uh, you think he's getting a uh, suit and taking off? Maybe where Nono snuck out with him last time? Yeah, the secret spot, probably. Mm, nice callback. This is really dangerous. I thought this might be what Degault wanted to try it. Captured. Oof. It's emotional, man. What the? What are you doing? A team. Oh, he's gonna see the bid ship. What a the Von Brahm. Yeah. Jesus. <laughs> Is this real tech? Yeah. He's transcended? <laughs> Get dabbed on evil Hachi. Unless he was really neutral Hachi the whole time.
Yo, they open in. Yo. <laughs> He'll be back. Okay, maybe he is evil. <laughs> Get on though. He's vibing. That was a fun episode, man. Great job on uh, Hachimati's voice actor, for sure. Definitely put in the performance there. Not a lot of no-no. I thought there might be more no-no, but we'll take what we can get. And then a little bit of everyone with a little Claire, a little Hachim, a little Digalto. But yeah, good epi. Don't think we didn't voice chat any voice actors for this. No new characters, basically. I've been really vibing with the songs recently. They weren't my favorite when I first heard them, but they drawn you a lot. His reasons. The adult. Yo! Hachi's father. Another guy. Oh. Dolph Dissing. Yo! That guy. Yo, lots of characters dropping that steppy. Anyways, good epi. <laughs> Very intense Hachino. Hoshino. Hachino. I combined them! Hachino. I said it again. Hachimati growth. <laughs> um, that's preview looks actually crazy, by the way. We're gonna see um, Hachi's dad. Plus that other guy that appears next to Hachi's dad in the, in the opening. It looked like some Dolph some Dolph slander going on. Um, looks like the big, the big boys are uh, teaming up so Dolph doesn't get, um, get elected to be vice president, which is kind of fucked up. Because from the episode, you know, and we kind of know it too, it seems like he's a little unorthodox. He doesn't exactly keep with traditions, but his overall impact and effect he's had as the, as the section chief of, uh, section two, he's, uh, Increase the profits by a lot. Apparently he's been performing the best, but people are just kind of scared of it because he doesn't harmonize, which is a little bullshit, but we'll see how Dolph handles it. He's kind of been just like a badass this whole uh, this whole series, so I'm not too scared about it. But yeah, I'm, I'm excited to see Hachi's dad and the other guy who looks like super evil in the, both in the preview and in the opening, but who knows, let's could be deceiving. Um... But yeah, this was a Hachimaki episode full and through with a really intense prologue. Like, that was insane. It's like Gravity. <laughs> the movie Gravity uh, with George Clooney and Sandra... What's her name? Sandra Bullock? That sounds wrong in my mind. Sandra Bullock. It is Sandra Bullock. It's actually funny, because when I was doing my research to find the live actress uh, Planet has, that, like, that stuffed show... Um, I heard a lot of people like comparing Planetes to Gravity or telling people like, oh, if you like Gravity, check out Planetes or something like that, which is funny coincidence. 
because that was definitely the 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 gravity scene the obviously planet has it first and i'm sure other stuff did it before that but it's it's the super in fact effective scene just the the feeling of dread being a then in your table ripped apart and just endlessly floating in space he doesn't have any way to propel himself um probably damaged from the the solar flare or whatever because usually they do have those little air tin propellers right um and especially for that and it just proves how terrifying it is because it's hachi maki right uh one of the best uh one of the best astronauts i've seen in this show he's definitely pops off and just the fact that he's terrified like just shows like it's 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 a completely dreadful situation let me get a little explanation what happened and when they showed that he didn't actually have any physical injuries and i kind of guessed it after the preview happened i was like okay or prologue i should say not preview um that it was going to be a mental thing and it is they called it s s what did i call it space sensory de deprivation ssd <laughs> or something it was something like that ptsd it was like stsd um basically uh the fear of uh sensory deprivation um which again made sense and it would be super hard to overcome just because if you look at ptsd some people just will never overcome it because it's just ingrained in the brain it's not like there's like there's medicine for it and sometimes you can suppress it pretty well, but, you know, it might jump back at you. And again, that's probably one of the most traumatic things ever. So it made sense he would face it. Also, I swear people do this IRL like, that are just not astronauts. Isn't that like a thing? I remember like the, last year, someone was telling me how it's kind of a hot thing. Like not like hot, like sexual, like hot as in popular. To do your own like sensory deprivation. Tank Toronto? Excuse me? Oh, we have one in Toronto. The float pod. Oh, they put you in water with a thousand and one eleven hundred pounds of Epsom salt, creating a very similar to the Dead Sea. What the heck? Oh man, there's a lot of it. Float Toronto, HO Float Studio, Go Float Studios, Burlington. How much does this cost? Cost. It sounds kind of bougie. <laughs> This is like some bougie spa treatment. Five float tanks open seven days a week. What is floating? Rest therapy or sensory deprivation. So you basically float in water. They say the Dead Sea, if you don't know, that's... Where's the Dead Sea? Isn't that like in Jerusalem or something? Where it's super salty so nothing lives there, but it's super buoyant. Um, so at least you're just like... Yeah, I guess since you can't... But you would feel the water. But I guess if they, if you're in a, da a dark pod or tank, they call it, then not being able to see and probably hear anything. But that's kind of lit. It's probably like a lot of money. Actually, it's not that bad. S a single float is $79. And a three-person float is $150. Wait, no. Oh, no, no, no. It's not for three people. It's just... Like a, like a single float is $79 and three float sessions for one person, so it's not shareable, is $150. And there's a membership, which is one float a month for $59. So it's a better deal if you go every month. Um, unused floats roll over. Yo, unused floats roll over. Never mind. That's a, that's a value deal. Three month commitment, pause any time. And a 10 pack with fully shareable. For, okay, <laughs> why are you looking? I'm just, I don't know. Maybe I, maybe I want to go float a bit. How long does a session though? This is fascinating. Beginner's Guide. Floating procedures. You got a shower. Made sense. Like, how much? Like, if I'm paying $80, $79 for a float. Like, how long is this going to be? So you arrive, check in, Q&A, shower, put in earplugs, okay. 
Step into Tain, close the door, float. When your time is up, music fades in, easing you out of your float. Turn on the lights and step out, rinse off, get dressed, and bask in your post float glow. <laughs> oh shit. So, yeah, meditation. It doesn't say how long it is, though. Float Toronto. How long per float? 60 minutes. Okay. Anyways, learning new shit. Will that happen? I don't know, but maybe. I mean, I was like, to do it with the boys, but like, what's the point if you're just meditating? This is just nice to talk about the experience. Anyways. <laughs> Stuff. This is different, though. They're not, they're not in a taint in this one. It seems like they just cut off all the lights and all the sounds in a big room. And I guess you're trying to stand still in the circle and just not having, like, I mean, I, I assume you can still feel the floor, but if it's completely dark and you don't have, you don't hear anything or smell anything or whatever, then maybe it will feel like you can't feel anything. I don't really know how the science works with that, but, but yeah, Hachi's struggling obviously made sense. Everyone is supporting them though. Um, it's nice to see the troops rally, you know, a team Claire talking about it, the boys in the dormitory, Chen Shin giving him his pornos. He loved to see it. Um, well, they're not eight and they're not purple pornos. They're just like basically gravier. I don't know what they call it in English. <laughs> what is gravier in, or is it just in, is it just gravier in English? Process for printing from an intaglio plate. <laughs> I don't think that's what I graver. Ah, oh, whatever. Doesn't really matter. That's <laughs> D. Uh, anyways, the boys are helping the adults. The adult pulling some serious strings. So it's probably. Like you said, it took a while. I assume a month, if that's if that's to uh, get him to see the super, the super engine. So based adult, he loved to see it. Little no no, you know she we didn't see too much of her, but without her tag, Hachi could be could have uh, died on the moon's surface. So it's also nice, you know, including no no to um, also do a callback of the time when they both snuck out together. That's what I immediately thought when Hachi went missing, so that was cool. <laughs> um, and then the flash, that obviously the best scene in this was definitely, um, at least in my opinion, his talk with uh, his inner demon, I should say, in his final, uh, or the second last test, showing all his, uh, you know, confronting himself, because, you know, while Hachi's a very outstanding and boisterous character it shows his insecurities through this you know how he's so confident about buying this ship and coming to the fact that at the current pace he's going where he's at it'll probably never happen it's nice to see tiny satoko um in this that's not her name i don't know. say her name's say i think um and just coming to the realization that maybe he's stalling, maybe this dream is too big for him, and maybe it is just, it would be a better life just living on Earth with a wife and getting married, settling down, and not having the weight of the burden because it was taken from you from an unfortunate accident. This is not the same as just giving up. If, if you just can't do it because of a, a medical condition, then it's like, it's the best way to give up, I guess. Uh, at least the the least defeating way in in some circumstances obviously there's stories and stuff where people su suffer a sudden uh incident either um mental or physical and the whole story is about their struggle to you know do it you know the classic dad gets put into a wheelchair and then he instead of giving up he trains his best to uh reach his goal which happens but i'm sure a lot of 
but but you know what I'm talking about. It's like it's like having such an immense burden and it being and you wanting it low key to be released, and then you get into an accident that releases it where it doesn't seem like you gave up. It's just you're at this point where you can't really do anything about it, right? But anyways, that was a really good scene. And the adult bringing his inspiration by showing him this uh the von Braun engine. And obviously this is the end game, right? Because we did that a couple episodes ago where Chen told Hachi that he's gonna try to do it and ask, and then Chen asked Hachi, Oh, do you wanna sign up? And then well Hachi obviously seemed super interested. He's like, Oh, they would never accept me, I'm just part of the debris section. Um But not, maybe that's his maybe now that he's experienced this, he's gonna actually try to join the Von Braun just because I assume now from this, he's not going to hesitate on his dream anymore, and he's going to try to push for this, uh, for this new position, right? Which is super exciting. I'm excited to see how uh, Hachi try. Um, will it kind of rock the Tanabe relationship? It could, but yeah. Anyways, we'll see. Next time, it looks Hachi's dad incoming. Exciting and some dull faction, so it should be good. But yeah, as always, thank you for watching, and I'll see you next time on some more Planetes. Peace.